Guys, before this episode, I say in this episode that tomorrow is going to be an episode that I'm, I really don't want to make, but I feel like I have to make. That is wrong. It won't be tomorrow's episode. It'll be the next day's episode. So, um, it'll be it'll be out on for you on Wednesday. So Wednesday's episode is just a episode I really don't want to make, but I really feel like I have to make. Um, I just, anyways, I, I just wanted to clarify that it's going to be coming out on Wednesday, not not tomorrow. Wednesday. You're watching this on Monday. It's coming. Okay, here, here's the episode. Whew. Uh, today's episode, I want to talk about yesterday's episode. So it's a, it's a follow-up episode. Uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be something that's like, well, it's some news I want to share with you guys that I feel like it is important to share with you guys. And it's a, uh, well, it's an episode I'm kind of sad to make. Um, but I, I, I just, I feel like I have to make it, and, um, so that, that's gonna be tomorrow's episode, so tomorrow's a really important episode, today's also a, it's an important episode, at least for me, it's an important episode today. Um, so, last night, let's, let's talk about last night and, and, and the workings of last night. Um, last night I had, I had the opportunity to be a guitar tech and stage manager, for uh, well, well, for a Dave Matthews tribute band. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a huge Dave Matthews fan. It's actually one of the reasons I got into like production and audio to begin with. Um, and there was a th there was a band that that and I talked about this in an episode called The Power of the DM. Um, and I was talking to a band and, and online and yeah, said if you want some tech help, I'll love to help. And um, so that 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 dream became true and. This weekend was just, it was so amazing. I met the guys on Thursday. We, we went to the venue to kind of look at the, look at the area, look at the space, and it was really fun. Friday, we, uh, we all went on like, uh, like scooters, like, like the Lime scooter, the Razor scooters, or Bird scooter. We got to go on scooters. We just rode around um, San Antonio, which was really fun. As like a band, which was, it was just fun. And then, and then Friday night, we had rehearsal. Um, and then Saturday, we just relaxed a lot, got to kind of, you know, <laughs> have some fun on Saturday. And then Saturday night was the gig, and it was a dream come true. Actually, the lead singer, Alex, and I were talking. He, it was, it was, it was the lead singer, it was Alex, it was me, it was the drummer, uh, David, and uh, Alex, another Alex, who's uh, the violin player, and we were talking about it. And how he was like, guys, it was a dream come. He was saying it was a, how he said, guys, it was a dream come true. I've been literally dreaming, like in my sleep, dreaming about playing this set live in front of a crowd and and, and during daydreaming, listening to some Dave Matthews songs. Like just imagine me on stage playing it. And he said, thank you for making it real and a dream. And last night was a dream for me. I've always wanted a tech in that in that in, in that genre with that band and. Last night was just a step closer to that, and it, 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 I, I really got to like feel what it was like to to work with something I love, um, which which is Dave Matthews music. Um, basically, what I was doing was uh, there was a bunch of songs we had to switch out guitars, so I was doing that. I was tuning guitars, changing strings, in the middle of the show, stuff like that, and it was really it was really great, great to to live that dream and. Um, that band wanted me to come back for a bunch of other more more shows and more gigs, and I totally agreed. I'm really excited for that. So my next show is a, uh, April 4th with them, which is really exciting. Um, and I just feel like a dream's come true, and and it's, it's I'm still like on cloud nine from it. Like I, I literally pick up my phone and like go back to photos and 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 relive that moment in like I can like put myself back in that moment where I was standing I remember what I was doing and it was it was amazing it was such a fun night it's just such an amazing amazing night it's I'm, I'm almost speechless it's hard to make this episode because I'm just it was crazy it was fun and the, the most amazing thing is so this is this is one of the bands like they're still in the early stages and they were saying how uh 
uh, you know, it was like 1,600, or, or at the time it was 16, but towards the end it was like 2,000 people on Facebook said they were going and that they were really excited. Um, and the and they had an RSVP to the to the venue to let them know that they were coming. They had VIP tickets uh, sold, and um, we were expecting anywhere from five to eight hundred people. And we're like, if we get five hundred people, that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane. If we get eight hundred people, if we get a thousand people, that's just gonna be absurd. Like it's just not gonna. Like we know it's not gonna happen, but it'd be crazy. Um, it was, I think the final count was somewhere around 1,800 people showed up. So just under 2,000 showed up. And it was um, and it was like for the band, it wasn't just because they were there to like grab food or grab a drink. It was that they wanted to come to a concert that night. And it was amazing. It was like, I, I got to like walk the band out. Um, and just, I got to see the crowd of people. I was on stage almost with the band and it was so fun. And I, when I was doing guitar changes, I would look out in the crowd periodically and just see a sea of people. It was a dream come true. And I, I think that the takeaway from, from this, from, from this weekend and this episode for you is if you have a dream, work as hard as you can to get to it because it will happen. You just have to and sometimes circumstances won't let you. You just have to have the. You have to make those circumstances happen. DM someone. Um, I, I was also talking about sympathetic art. Maybe do something like that and make it as real as possible for yourself. And I was. I, I just. I was so happy. So happy in my element yesterday. I can't thank them enough. Um, for letting me come on and do this with them. So um, I just wanted to come out on an episode after um, and just say that I'm exhausted today. I didn't get back to like, I honestly think it was like maybe six o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at like 6.30ish and I've been wiped all day and tomorrow's a travel day. I'm back to Orlando. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a travel episode. Um, yeah. Coolest damn kids on the street You and me, we could kick it all weekend Baby, no sleep Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open Hoping you would f*** me on the beach on my back seat Listening to rap, so fancy Every time you leave